Arizona's a 2024 Hiker Trailer Extreme Off-Road Edition. I've seen many videos online, people showing their pickup slash delivery day videos and their experience with that, but not many people have shown their process of what they had to do beforehand when it came down to picking up and buying a hiker trailer. Things that you don't really think about, things like the insurance, uh, titling, if you're doing financing, and then even in our case, having a visual inspection, or if you're gonna have someone else pick up the trailer for you. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys all of our details when it comes down to what we have to do, the process, and how easy slash difficult it may have been when it came down to picking up the hiker trailer. Let's jump right to the video. So welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Jeffrey. We love everything when it comes down to off-roading, camping, overlanding, and now travel trailers slash hiker trailers more specifically. So if you're new here, consider subscribing because we're gonna be showing you guys everything coming up in the next couple of videos and, and in the next couple of months. So if you wanna see really the process of someone getting their hiker trailer and really building it out and using it um, for camping and doing a lot of different adventures, consider subscribing because we're gonna be doing a ton of this type of stuff in the future. But that out of the way, we're jumping in the video right now. Well, probably just like a lot of you guys, if you're looking to get a hiker trailer or any type of off-road trailer, we done a ton of research when it came down to watching videos trying to figure out what type of trailer we wanted to get and it came down to us getting a hiker trailer the process started actually months ago it is april 2024 now and we were t in talks with the people from hiker all the way in december 2023 really it took a couple of months so it started off once we knew we were going to get a hiker trailer we first started doing a, a consultation with uh the sales reps um, at Hiker. So what they actually do, they do like a, you can do it over like uh, either FaceTime or Zoom or whatever. You can do like a video conferencing and they really kind of walk you through the trailer buying process. And it was actually really nice. They showed us the different trailers, um, the different models. And we did have two different sales reps that kind of worked with us. And they showed us different options and everything like that. So they answered all of our questions when it came down to what would be the best awning system. And like in our case, which I'll get into instead of a later video, what would be the best use case for us? Because of we like to bring our dirt bikes with us a lot of places. So really trying to get that dialed in, they were really helpful with that. So after that, we did go back and forth a couple of times when it came down to different options and different things. Because I know for us, we originally weren't going to get the water tank installed. But then after doing some thinking, I was like, you know what, let me get the water tank. If we're going to do it, let me just get it attached to the trailer now. So I don't have to bring it back if I want to get that added at a later point in time, which they said that we could do, but we just elected to go ahead and do it. So you still have some time and some wiggle room. You can go back and forth with them for some things that if you're thinking about like you want to add or anything like that, there's usually some time to be able to do those type of things. So with us, this is our first trailer that we ever bought. I have purchased many cars, you know, private party at dealerships in different states. So I'm, I'm very familiar with the car buying process, but actually buying a trailer, I had no idea. Our sales rep was really helpful because he kind of explained a lot of things to me because I was curious about like, what do we do when it comes down to, you know, insurancing? Um, how do we get the, you know, the plates for, especially for us since it's an out of state purchase, it's gonna be inside Indiana and we're gonna be bringing it back to uh, California. Trying to figure out how that whole process worked. So when it came down to us, what we elected to do was put a large down payment down and they get the rest financed. What they do, they recommended a company, Rock Solid Funding. I guess that's one that they work with a lot. It's similar to, you know, at a car dealership, how they have their lenders that they typically go to. Rock Solid Funding seems to be a agency that works with other lenders that can uh, get simple interest loans for people if you're looking to finance a trailer and even like big, big trailers too. Um, so this was my first time ever working with a company like that. I've never even heard of them before. Some of the interesting things though I did find out is that you can do a 10 year loan on a trailer. That is kind of insane. When I was talking to them more, they were saying, cause typically people, they want to just have a super low payment. So people do, some people do 10 year loans on like trailers or if you get like a really big camper. I never knew that, but uh, yeah, I guess apparently you you could. So what we liked it to do was just like a normal, simple interest loan um, for the, the remaining balance of the trailer. Uh, the way that they work is that they set you up with a finance officer and that's kind of the person, your point of contact that you're kind of working with the whole time. So our point of contact, we worked with 
once we put in our submission with hiker trailer we got in contact with them we did like a quote online they got in contact with me and we were talking with them back and forth the whole time even when i did update my build sheet from hiker when we, when we had the final you know like uh build sheet and everything like that i would send it to them like hey these, these are, these are going to be the final numbers of what it's looking like they were able to update everything uh through there so really during this time period it's kind of uh you know once you actually submit your order to hiker you're kind of just waiting and for us like the lead time was like three months they told us but they were actually running a little bit ahead of schedule so uh, it was actually like a little bit under that once we finally got everything officially through it did take us a little bit of time to get everything through because we were still going through some of like the options and everything like that and it was like the end of the year uh, when we were kind of getting everything done but uh yeah so it didn't take us actually too too long once the order was in but during this time period it was, we were just kind of just waiting around we were still in contact with our loan officer but it was kind of more dormant during this time i did have a couple questions when it came down to plates and tanks and how does all of that stuff work so with your plates they give you a 45 day temporary plate that comes with the trailer once you get it registered and everything like that you're gonna have to get it registered inside of your state which makes sense but for me i had no idea i literally was like how does that work so really after we put in our order it was pretty much a waiting game until about a couple weeks ago until the dealership said hey your trailer is getting close to being finished now this is kind of the whole go time where you get everything kind of in place and in order so during this time i reached back out to our finance loan officer and we had everything kind of in place uh we had to do our down payment to the finance company uh the dealership wouldn't take any type of down payments or anything like that so you have to do all of your uh like down payments and everything like that to the uh other company they did send us a whole bunch of forms and actually it was kind of cool we did have to like get paperwork notarized and we did it like virtually as well so that was kind of cool when i was filling out all the paperwork it was actually like a, a virtual um, notary that just topped on with me that was literally at like one o'clock in the morning because i was reading through my emails and doing everything and filling out all the proper paperwork so they kind of have all that stuff down and so during this time period that's when you do any type of wire transfers and everything like that to the uh finance company and they kind of get everything sorted out for us once we get the money wired to the uh finance company rock solid funding they had the uh final payment sent to hiker trailer it took a day even though it said that it may take two to three business days it was sent to them within the same day and hiker trailer received everything so that was pretty cool so to my knowledge it pretty much works very similar to a car the finance company this is the time when they reached out and said okay what's your insurance that you have and everything like that so i did do some insurance shopping around it was actually cheaper for me just to stay with progressive um because we have everything bundled together it was actually fairly inexpensive to get the trailer insured and everything like that so we just use simple uh progressive we were able to just give them like the policy number and all that type of details uh for the uh loan company as well so when it came out titling this is where i had a couple questions just because of we're from new york state we moved to california and they do things differently here in california for example in new york state you still get a physical title even if you're financing a vehicle with your name on it, it still has a lien on it but you still get a physical title in california you don't get a title at all if you're financing a vehicle and two is paid off then you get the physical title from the lien holder so i was curious about this how does that work in california when it comes down to a uh, trailer for example when it comes down to titling i have actually the email pulled up from rock solid funding what they sent back to me because i had to email them and ask them a couple questions because i wasn't fully really sure what they told me your dealership should be releasing the manufacturer statement of origin to us we will then file for the title transfer and registration with our tag agency in california once processed the registration will be sent directly to you and then the title will be sent to your lender and then it says until the rest is paid in full and then the other interesting thing is that they did mention as a heads up because of your units technically coming from out of state california dmv is likely to request a vend inspection they also did tell us that their agency can you know complete this for us we're just they're just going to need all the photos and everything like that um so i said i'll probably do that with them but that's very similar to what they do when it comes out to buying a vehicle when we brought our vehicles from new york state into california we had to go to the DMV 
in order for them to get titled and tagged inside of California, they had to have a representative check the VIN on the vehicle with the title and everything like that. And then we had to bring our titles into the DMV and they took them and they got everything switched over. So I'm assuming the process is going to be very similar. It, since it's technically a out of state purchase, they're going to be like, okay, cool. You're bringing it, it into California and you're going to be having, you're going to have it registered in California. It's going to be the same type of process, uh, just like what you would do with a vehicle. And then another interesting case about us is that we actually are going to have someone else go pick up the trailer for us. Our trailer is scheduled to go get picked up within the next four to five days-ish. Everything is done and it's pretty much set and ready to get picked up. We have other obligations for the rest of the month, so we won't be able to go and pick it up. But the interesting thing about Hiker is once it's done, you have like two weeks to pretty much pick it up or they start charging you a fee, like a storage fee pretty much, um, which makes sense. We could have chose to have it delivered to one of their other facilities that were closer to us. I mean, there is a charge for that. I think it's like like $1,000 or like 1500 or something like that, that we could have had it delivered closer to us. Then we probably could have ran out and just you know got it real quick and came back. Um, but we're gonna be going back to New York State anyway. So we're gonna have families, it's gonna go pick up the trailer for us. So in order to do that, what we had to do was a couple small things. We had to, once we filled out all the final paperwork with Hiker, they sent us all everything we had to fill out. We had to physically sign all of the paperwork and send it back to them. We also had to do a buyer's note to authorize whoever it is that's going to be coming to pick up the trailer, like their name and everything like that, that they're going to be picking up the trailer for you. Overall, the process has been pretty straightforward. There hasn't been too many hiccups in the road. The lead time when it comes down to emailing and the waiting for someone to get back to us is usually a day, if even that, especially at towards the end of things, they were very responsive to any questions I had or anything like that. So if you're looking to do it, hopefully this kind of gives you like a more of a glimpse into all the things that you're going to have to. Do. But when it comes down to trailer when you always have to consider what is your tow vehicle. In this video right here, I show you guys a really well review of the tow vehicle for our hiker trailer it's our 2019 ram rebel check this video out and we'll see you guys in the next one